they would have done a lot of work over the week in, in terms of uh, you know a bit of imagery work in terms of their, their mind and making sure that they, they know the sequence of, of what they're supposed to be doing when they're turning up and ready to go. Okay, Birch, Brent, thank you very much indeed for now. Let's hand you across to our commentary team this afternoon. The finalists for Ballymena Academy in 1999 here in Humphreys. But first, the voice of the Schools Cup, Jim Neely. You're very kind, Stephen. Uh, so Parry hasn't quite turned up the warm side of the stone, but he's doing his best. It's a wee bit overcast here. The uh, Holders Methodist College have an experienced side with 10 and upper 6. The back row trio with Fulton and Haley Stevens and Brothers has representative experience. And the front row of White and Kenner McAdams has been in the side for three years. David Armstrong ends to empty the load of brother Thomas a cup winner three years ago. Plenty of pace across the three quarters with Captain Peter O'Hagan, Sender Logan and Ratty, Joe Dixon and fullback Ben McFarland, all Ulster schools players. Campbell's front row is Cameron Hillis and co-captain Zach Sullivan have featured at Ulster schools level. The six feet seven Joe Hopes has played for Ireland at under 18 level. And Finn Longstaff, the son of former Scottish international Sean, is a formidable number eight. Campbell captain Tom Crowther is aiming to be a third generation of cup winners. His father and grandfather won in 88 and before that in 58. And like Method, he plenty of zip in the backs with fullback Lucas Kenny, who missed the semi, recovered from a hand injury in the only change from last time here. Behind you, okay. Work hard to get behind you. Referee is making his way up. Okay, the representative of that ladder and there's uh, Stuart oh, Douglas. And there's you, okay. a, a big game, I think, for the referee in this particular final, just as it is for there, all, all yeah. 30 of the uh, starting 15s, uh, starting Come players, behind. plus the replacements. Okay. White captain. Uh, it's going to be White captain. Johnny McCracken to get this one back. underway. We've missed it. There was no competition for the last couple of years. And Wallace and Armagh denied the final two years ago because of the dreadful cover. That looked like a nice spill forward, and can Campbell take advantage? A clever kick by Jason the Kraken, who's there. Grandpa, I'm pretty sure, is here, or if not, he's going to speak to the home. And if he is watching, then it's hello to my good friend Herbie McCracken, who's now 94 years of age, former Irish international, and I reckon the oldest living former international. Good start by Campbell, and there is McCracken. Pops up to Ali McCauley, strong blindside flanker, good method of defending. Well away by Hillis. John Crowther takes it forward for the boys from East Belfast. White roll. Stevens with the tackle and uh, all that pressure in as they do a penalty. Yeah, good start there for Campbell College. Unfortunately, just I think they went to the kickoff and it was just a little bit of a knock on from from the initial start. And then Campbell just managed to put phases together and Methody gave away a couple of penalties. And I think early on in the game, Jim, playing with the wind, it looks like Campbell are going to try and, and take the three points just to try and get first points on the board in a big game like this. Really will settle the nerves. Very accurate start from Campbell at the break down the team. We just see how hard Methody were going after the ball. I think Campbell just need to make sure they don't allow Luke Johnson to be a real menace around the breakdown. They're going to look to try and get quick ball, build momentum, and then just play with this wind, try and play a little bit of field position. Not the 9 or 10 kicking, it's the number 11, and he is Peter Caves. He scored 22 points in three cup appearances so far. And this, with a respectful silence, I'm glad to say, to give Campbell Colors the lead. strong front rows. Okay, here's the mark. Let's get left of the mark here. 
Sorry. Reset, boys. Big scrum here. Let's go. Take it to him, Vix. Nine, stay on my left. Okay. Check it out. Full bind in. Try. 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 Set! Full of Josh's with the Irish under 20s this weekend, bidding for a under 20 grand slam. That's well away, and this is good stuff from the flanker, Josh Stevens. Good covering tackle, but Stevens very nearly did what he did against Inst in the semi final. Good continuity by Method, a clever little change of direction by scrum half David Armstrong. Method looking to respond immediately with not just a penalty but with a try. Stevens waits and again Method he throws that narrow side. <laughs> Inviting Ryan Kidd to go in and do a bit of helping. Stevens short and strong. Well away again. This could be interesting. Good Campbell defending, but Method getting ever closer and the pick up and the drive and they've got there. From scrum half from David Armstrong and then just the forwards took over and then eventually managed to be Lork and Hanrat got over um, over the line. But great play with Method. They kept it tight, but they then kept just changing the point of attack. They didn't make it easy behind for Campbell to make the, the tackles the line, please. and had to make work hard to get behind the no, defensive no, you know. line. Ryan Lindsay. <laughs> and so it's Ben McFarlane. I should say the man who scored most of the points from Method or most points. And that's a, a well taken conversion by Ben McFarlane. Uh, Methley in the lead by seven points to three. Yeah, good, good kick again there by, by Ben McFarlane. Kick, keeps it nice and low into the wind, and Methley will be keen now to try and make a clean kickoff. Both kickoffs so far resulted in knock ons, and, and hopefully, then for Methley, they can gather this time. Bracken does the same again, this time it's well gathered in. Uh, they're not committing too many people to the break, Don. Campbell might just have stolen that one. That's a good piece of work by the boys in black. Hooker Zach Solomon, who's the, who's the co-captain, because the man playing number 10 has been injured for quite a lot of the season. And there he is. And this is better. Good defending in the middle of the park by Patrick Fullerton Healy, the Methody blindside flanker. Joe Holmes holds six feet seven of him. Nicely away. Long staff couldn't quite get his pass away cleanly. Yeah, Vatic, high tackle. <laughs> high tackle. He's given a penalty high for tackle. a high tackle, which is something you don't often see in schools. Like high tackle. I'm delighted to say, yeah. Yeah, it just seemed to be as. 14, as, just uh, dropped the tackle. The Campbell player stepped in off his left foot, it was just a, a trailing arm, but it was a huge hit in the fence uh, by, by Methody to stop Campbell's attack, and, and unfortunately, it looks to be a bit of an injury for for Tom Crother, but it was just great reading and then just as we see as Campbell carried it back in it was just the tackle slipped up and it was nothing too dangerous, nothing sinister about it, but a, a quite right penalty. Well, they'd be a wee bit worried about the Campbell outside half and captain Tom, Tom Crother. His father, Sean, played in two schools cup finals for Bangor Grammar in 86 when Mark McCall was the captain and in 88 when Rob, he was the captain. My mark there. And his Things dad, fun. John, played away back in 1958 for an Annandale Grammar School team that for the first time in their history. And the only time in their history won, won the school's okay, cup. Ten. And he had a couple of brothers played in losing sides yeah. about five or six years ago. I think he's going to be OK. What do you think, Ian? Yeah, it's good to see him back up on his feet. Massively winded him, as I said, it was a huge hit just in off the blind side. It was great defence by Methody. They managed to read the ball out the back, and I think as they came in, just hit man on ball and a good read. And it stopped uh, Campbell's attack. And it was a hugely important uh, impact and just fortunately for him he, he's back up and now he's got an opportunity to put the ball in the corner and the, the, uh, the Campbell mall that was so strong in the semi-final gym no doubt will sort of see another opportunity to, to see how they can go here and, and for them they'll be looking to try and get Zach Solomon in the back of that guide it up and, and looking to get I another trust five you points. To make ten, you know ten, all right? Well that's good to see Here's the and uh, I think he's going to be fit enough to pop the ball into the corner and 
try to use Joe Hopes to snatch the ball out of the air and perhaps drive over the Methody line. It's all about the kick. No, no. And that hasn't gone into touch, which is unfortunate. I think that little bum may have affected him. He's getting a, a consolatory pass from his big number eight, Finn Longstaff. Yes, uh, it's an easy error to happen, and just at the stadium, when players aren't used to it, the way the wind whips through the corners, just you could just see the ball just slid uh, slightly dead, and he just probably missed it by a metre or two. Nice to see him being so aggressive and not just knocking out sideways and trying to get into that five metre line, but just unfortunately for him, that he just slid the wrong side of the flag. Eight minutes gone, 35 minutes each way, remember, in uh, schools rugby, in senior schools rugby. Set! Ready, ready, Hold, squeezed hold. by Campbell at the scrum. Method he pick up and drive. Nine away, seven release. Good work by Crothers. Play on. Play on. I didn't see that. come off the shin, didn't touch the hand. So Six no release. Ball's out. Back in the Method side once again. Campbell up very quickly. Good work by Hanrati, the try scorer. Fullerton Helio is the man who made a little bit of ground. Dancing feet as ever from Ben McFarland. Quickly away by Methody. But again, Campbell equally quickly up in defence. Stay. Out, out, out. Well taken by Cordo, the captain. Another penalty against Methody. Yeah, I think Jeanette came from not retreating from the kick as we saw Offside. the strength to win there. Just didn't as, retreat within the 10 metres. Everybody's got to retreat. Three white and one white. white. Matthew, very unfortunate, not a couple of times he looked sharp with a bit of an overlap and just good defence by Campbell, not overcommitting. Offside the rat, within the ten. Just to set off, knowing how difficult it is for, for Matthew to exit their zone. Crowley makes no mistake this time. As Crowley took it in. Just hold them. Campbell Lads. player interferes. Front man. Front man. Who's the front, the other front man? Front man, lads, we're going slowly here. We'll Zach Solomon being we'll have a conversation. Hands hands off, okay? hands off. This is the this is the guy by replying the rest of the game. It's all on you, get them behind you, alright? We've got some of the size of Joe Hopes, there's no point in not using him, they've done that well, but Method managed to pull it down. And uh, the hook of Johnny O'Kane. Straight away, he managed to get over the ball. Johnny O'Kane, and that's a huge turnover. Campbell putting him under a bit of pressure, but that's for his defence standing firm. Yeah, ten minutes gone, seven three to the holders. No competition at all last year. Two years ago, you've got to sympathise with the boys of the Royal High line. School and the Royal School Armagh, who had got themselves to the final on only the line, about a week of it taking place. We're told it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, on the, the line. school's got to keep the cup for six months apiece, and everybody who would have played in the final got a finalist medal, no winner's medal. He's a play on, play on. The That's back fine, ball's there. No, play on. He used the ball. Good sidestep. Yeah. Off your feet now! For Off your feet! Was the man who made the tackle Campbell giving away another penalty. Not supporting your body, Wade. Stay up. Two, away you go. Stay up. Yeah, you can see how disappointed Stay that's down, you got to that support your body, Wade. He you believes that he was on his feet and first man in, but I think in this situation he just has to make sure he's listening to the referee. From up here, Jim, we could hear Stuart Doug Douglas pretty clearly telling him hands off to release, but just unfortunately for him, maybe oh, didn't no, hear no, it no, in no. the circumstances. And a great kick there by Ben McFarland to, to, to push Methody down into no, no, Canada's no. territory. Listen, I haven't. My decision's final. Oh. Sure, Douglas. Very clear with his uh, his signs and his signals. And this has given Methody a terrific opportunity. They're in an excellent position, close to the Campbell College 22. Johnny O'Kane, well taken. Stay, Tim. Ryan Kidd in at the back of that now. Will they get a little bit of a shunt on? I think they will. You know. Tight That's head one, from McAdam comes in. 
whatever happens, the ball is well protected for scrum half David Armstrong. The Cadden didn't make too much in the way of run. Not, not supporting his body weight. Referee says that the Campbell tackler was supporting his body weight. That's nicely done. Up to Joe Dixon, who gets himself ambushed in the middle of the field by Cal Florence. Is that was your Campbell number. Campbell holding up in the air, and that's going to give them the turn into the scrum. It's good defending by the Melbourne guy. Just a Flynn Longstaff, very unfortunate not to get the turnover in the, in the previous round. Run in by White, and then made on Perlow. It was all a little bit lateral, nobody running lines that were holding, a little bit obvious, and then a good read in the defence by, by Campbell, was really able to come up and, and close off Joe Dixon. And though he broke out of the first Stay tackle, left. got wrapped up into a mall. And as soon as that mall was called, Campbell knew not to let, let it go down, on, get to ground, and second. he would get the scrum. So a good defensive okay, set again by Campbell. Down. Here's the mark. A little bit uh, you stay the left and they get, trying to attack. He's probably need to be a little bit more concise with their lines, I, a little bit I more accurate, and, and uh, to to hopefully be able to create a few opportunities out wide. Step there. And the front row of White with Kane and McAdam all in the upper six. And ten of the. Method is starting 15 in the first six, so we need to do a lot of replacing next year, but there's well, plenty coming through. That's, that's no problem. I plan on Fine! Darren Hannon on the set! Campbell Collins tight ready, outside, ready, and outside to us. Ready, 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 break! Pick up by the number eight long staff. So a wee bit lateral, Crowther runs into his opposite number. Brian Lindsay, who hangs on to him and brings him Stop to the it. ground. Use it! So Campbell's momentum slowed temporarily. McCracken shaving up to the kick. That's hanging rather tantalisingly. Well taken by McFarlane. Reminds a lot of people of uh, Ethan McElroy, who played last time these two met in 2019, when McElroy was one of the stars of the Methody side. And we're going to start on the Ulster side. Harry Cameron not making much of the way of ground. Well tackled by Campbell. Pick up and drive. And it's Fullerton Healy, the blind side flanker. Lindsay. Gets it to Josh Stevens in the middle of the park. Coming by Lindsay. Good support play there by his hooker. No hands, Rocky Johnny O'Kane. Says the referee. There's somebody has seen that he doesn't like, I wonder. Back ten. Or is it because somebody's Sorry. injured? Captain, two needs to stop talking to me during live play. There's a live commentary. Yeah. It can't be against him. If he continues, I will escalate. Okay. Well, the referee asking uh, Tom Crowther to speak to Zach Solomon, who's the co captain about. About chatting too much, referees Time won't off. have any of that, will yeah. they? Yeah, I think it, it all stems back from when he felt he should have won the penalty earlier in the breakdown. And you could just see he chatted to the referee at the at the subsequent line out, and you just again you can just hear him chattering in the background at every ruck. So perhaps as, as a joint captain, he believes he should be allowed to speak to the referee, but I think there's a time and a place he maybe just needs to make sure he's a little bit settled for this. But again, Campbell, really good defence, they just on. need to be very Can't careful around the fringes. Methody a couple of times have managed just to do a little pick and go. Josh Stevens hugely influential on around, around the rut times, just Two finding black, soft con, edges con, con, and it's important for Campbell that they just managed to get the first defender into place and don't give those yep. easy yards around the rut. Joe Hope seems to be fine. And this is McFarlane to gain some territory from Methodist College, and he's done just that. That is a great kick. That's a really good strike into the wind. It's just managed to put Methody now into half into the 22, and it gives him a chance. We'd imagine we'll see them all again, and then perhaps a strike play, that whether they try and bring in Lorcan and Ratley again, or, you, or whatever they try and do with, with their captain Peter Hagen. But first up, Maul, and then try and get over the game. And after that, just work around the corner like the first time. Perfect position. Well taken at That's the line fine, by fine. Kid. Play on. Here goes the hooker, Johnny O'Kane. Well presented. A little fade on the pass for Chris Bradley, who'd come in off his right wing. The back, back. Bethany number 14. The way they go again, a little slip pass from Crothers to Stevens. These two have worked so well over the past couple of years. Lindsay McFarlane slips away initially from the tackle of uh, Ollie Topping. Turn over, and that's been turned over. Right, right. the ground by 
Campbell's out from side Luke Jameson. And Campbell taken away through the enormously strong Cameron Hillis. The chance of Campbell can find a bit of a move. That's nicely done. That's what he needed to do. Out to the far side to Peter Caves. Dragon seeks the safety of his forwards. Maybe tempted to kick this time. Equally strong, and was that Ryan Kent made some ground yet again for Methodist College? Campbell has stolen that one, I think. Can they capitalize? There's a huge big gap down near the Methodist College try line. Crowther, well away. Good little drift pass, good stuff. Oh, Campbell College. Topping just couldn't quite get it inside to his uh, inside centre, Matthew Booth. Yeah, it's been good I mean, uh, identification of space by Campbell, even just from the turnover in the own 22. Lovely I'm hands just you've got to stop. from so the returning uh, Lucas oh. Kenny, just giving oh. them a little bit of an overlap on the outside, and then again as they work their way oh, back on. infield after a great turnover in, uh, from the from Brock. Campbell just need to be a little bit more accurate, Jim. You can see they're creating the opportunities the with this win. Method are having their back three, having to sit back slightly no more for the kicking okay. game, but I think they might just need to try and mix up instead of always box kicking off nine. If they can try and kick from either 10 or 15, just to sort of try and use the tram lines a little bit as it's up in the air. We've seen a really high dangerous Ben McFarlane is in the counter attack, so perhaps just changing their tactics slightly might give them a bit of a better outcome. Midway through the first half, all the points scored in the opening five minutes, three for Campbell. Seven for Methodist College. Michael Crothers, as ever, makes ground. Lindsay again. And Ratty, who's immensely strong. Ulster schools under 17s, 18s, and 19s, North there and Ratty. Great That's prospect. Fine. 11 away, you're off your feet. White crow. Turnover once again by Campbell. That might be a bad kick if the bounce is kind. It's not too bad for Ben McFarlane now. He's going to try and run outside Hillis the prop forward, which he does, and then loses his footing. But well presented, and well away by his scrum half, David Armstrong. One affected the play of the, the ball there in the side. And Campbell's loose head, Cameron Hillis, I think, did something naughty. Yeah, referee saying he came in the side, a little bit harsh, didn't seem to to make a huge impact in the game, but the referee says it affected the nine. I think brilliant uh, defence there by Ben McFarlane. Just managed to get the ball deep as line, looked up and saw he had a front row ahead of him, and then a second row, and he managed just to back his pace and, and get outside. OK, let's go! Stepped off his right foot and managed to win the momentum. The, Thanks, the not off, let's go, let's go! Great um, pace by, my, uh, by David Armstrong to, to pick it up and get the, the kick away, and then just a, a soft penalty against Campbell gives Methley a chance to clear their lines. David Armstrong's brother Thomas was the uh, linchpin of Methodist success against Campbell three years ago in the final. They won that by 40 Just points. Line, scored right? more than 40 points. Duncan and Ratty. He's a big lump. He scored seven tries throughout the season. Still inside their own half, Methody. Johnny O'Kane. Plenty of options. And that was Harry Palmer. Stay, no, I, I get out. I, I. Well, that's well played by Metheny. Good, solid driving. Sucking the Five, stay through the game. That's once nine. And decide to go close to the. Turnover's the good. And they've lost that one. by McCracken inside to Ben McFarlane and off he goes well tackled though by 50-22's on lads Joe Hopes just unfortunately David Armstrong there was a good bit of play by Ben McFarlane to tidy it up and well, what's really impressive Jim is the sort of understanding of players when there's a turnover especially the back three the back three know that the danger is in the kick and the in 
into deep into the territory, especially now to the 50-22 rule. Straight away, Lads, relax, Matthew relax. Wendell was able to drop back. Chris Bradley to Just protect respond. that catch. Feed Ben McFarlane, who then got the counter-attack on. So this knowledge of these players now coming through, it's very, very impressive. Zach Solomon. Campbell have shortened the line out to five players. And Luke Johnson. Take it back. Okay. The side Franco playing scrum half, and he's now good in there. And Solomon, the co-captain. And here comes Longstaff. The lad is not in considerable weight to things. Solomon tries it on the narrow side, and he managed to lose it. And Campbell won the penalty. White seven, hands in the rock. Yeah, the referee's just saying that. Campbell Focus inside Josh one, Stevens come in offside and obviously use his hand just to, to try and disturb the ball. Just a little bit of stop start this game, Jim, with quite a few penalties. I think the, the referee we can hear up here is very vocal, so he's, he's talking to players well, so it's just a, a little bit of potentially lack of discipline, a lack of practice that's causing so many penalties. It's, it's probably okay. working into Campbell's favour here going from set piece take to set piece. Let's take a step. They aren't able to get much take momentum into multi phase and Campbell. We'll be hoping from here they can get their mall. Take a step, lads. Take a step. Very often oh. find that when the two best teams in the competition meet in the final, it, it doesn't always be a, a hugely entertaining Stay final. Stay outside, please. Because it's, it, it's like chess. You're, you should be inside the 15. Here comes Solomon again. And again, Campbell with Luke Johnson in the scrum half position. That's well taken in. Right the narrow side, this is definitely done. Well worked by Campbell. They're going for the corner. And they're over on the corner. Just bumped into touch and the referee couldn't do it any better position. Stuart Douglas and his assistant on the far time side put the hand up and Zach Solomon wasn't too far away, but what a clever move that was by Campbell from the set piece. Yeah, we were talking up here expecting them all, and obviously Methody did as well. Lovely front two, goal, but great 22. defense by Methody managed just to put Zach Solomon in the touch in the corner. He does so well to break the first tackle, but the covering by the yes, defence uh, led initially touching by goal, David Armstrong has just managed to put him into the, in the no. touch in the corner. And now a 22 drop so out. Great effort by Campbell, but yeah. very good defence by Methley. And just see the hunger to, to work across and, and make that covering tackle. Lovely piece of acceleration and, and handling by Campbell's tight head prop, Dara Hanlon. And he nearly put his hooker into the corner. That's the closest Campbell the going to a try. Methley have got a try of their own. Morgan Hamrati, converted by Ben McFarlane. He's given that a fair old wallop while taken in by Crowder. This is Matthew Booth. What a release! Giving a scrum half a target. McCracken. That's a rough no hands! McCracken again. Tries the narrow side. Five rolls! there, probably Matthew Church. McCracken back quickly into possession. He's done well today. Joe Hopes. Again, McCracken. Now it's Crowder. Lovely handling by Campbell Roll. yet again. Matthew Booth takes it on. McCracken. Clever little dummy. Crowder. Lucas Kenny, whose uh, place in this final was very much in doubt after a nasty yeah. hand injury, but he seems to recover from that. Ball was not backward from Cameron Hillis, so the referee is saying play on. Better stuff from Campbell now. They're putting a huge amount of pressure on. There's a chance for an overlap if they can get this away. Lucas Kenny's in there. Good work out on the far side by, by Peter Caves, it looks like. Tackle release, Mike! It's okay. Yeah. And Matthew will come away with it. That looked like a no it was tackle, but Stuart Douglas happy. Back to McFarlane. Stay! And Matthew have taken all the pressure off. Oh. That has the fun touch. Hugely important turnover by Methley deep in their own territory and a great kick to him into the win by Ben McFarlane. His ball striking this afternoon has been very impressive. He's, he's put a good length onto his kicks, which has given Methley plenty of time to get their chase line up and get well organised in defence. Again, just go back to a little bit of inaccuracy from Campbell. It's just killing them after such good attack and play. They managed to get a bit of an overlap up the left hand side. A few broken tackles, but then just unfortunately for them, just turning the ball over and good transition from Methody to, to clear into the into the Campbell half and then just unfortunately hey, mistake go. gives now he gives Methody an attack and scrum. Well, just right. 10 minutes remaining of this half which has really flown in. Early penalty for Campbell, try and conversion Bye. for Methody. So it's uh, Methody 7 Set. and Campbell 3. 
Really? He's to be back inside the camera. Stay by the stay. Some time. Stay by the scrum. Lindsay. Oh, that's lovely. Huge gap was there. Well, exploited by Ryan Lindsay. Just glided through it. There's a chance now. That's nicely out yeah. to Methodist there. Left wing Joe Dixon, who's held up. Taken on by Josh Stevens with a ferocious looking handoff. Again, Methody get it away, and this time it's our number eight Michael Crothers makes a bit of ground. Armstrong. Johnny O'Kane in the pivotal position, the red haired hooker. That's an outline to Chris Bradley, who's very, very quick. Kane again, good support from Patrick. Patrick release, release, Healy. Methody's tight head, Finn McAdam takes it forward. And just a wee nudge forward by, by, by Methody. Well, it's, uh, it's a seesaw kind of a game where one side has the ascendancy and then the other. Yeah, both teams are showing plenty of attack and intent, which is great to see. But sort of as you said, Jim earlier, both defences are, are very solid, very well organised, and, and what Method did very well. They were uh, it was Peter. Don't bind on the arm. Peter Hagen did well, not to force a pass on, when he was under huge down, pressure. Okay. Held on the ball, and yep, Method were able to, to rebuild again. But it's just that little fumble at the base of the ruck just slowed the momentum, and obviously gives now gives um, Campbell the opportunity to have a scrum and, and try and exit their zone. And I think Campbell let's just. Missed a bit of uh, missed a trick of, oh, of sorry, using this wind a little bit off. more. Perhaps oh, he could have kicked a little bit, as I mentioned earlier, off ten or off their centres, just to try Time's and off, move the Methody back to the around. Because at the minute, the box hits Ben McFarland is just taking them easily and counterattacking and giving Methody good opportunities. But again, it's just these small things, the small errors that are just breaking up the game. And there's plenty of good play so far, Jim, and, and a few chances, but no, nothing really clear cut apart from Methody's first try. There's the uh, method number eight, Michael Crothers, who, like a number of young men in this uh, final, will be leaving school at the end Make of this academic year. Time he back decided on. to take himself off summer for a gap year before he hopes starting to study Let's medicine. Go, not sure whether he's here or not, but I know a former right. was calling the scrum half who played for. Ulster Iron and the Lions with distinction. But Bang! Roger Young is home from South Africa for a, a day or two. I think I'm catching up with him next week at Belfast Harlequins Club, which will be a bit of crack. Okay, to Roger Young was. Yeah, and I need you to stay square as well, okay? It's about eight minutes remaining. Number eight, Philly Bond, please make all crouch. Campbell's number eight, Flynn Bye. Longstaff packs down. Luke Set. Johnson on the near side has been ready. very busy for ready. Campbell. Ready, ready, pull in! Ready, ready, ready! Good strike, Longstaff. Nicely away. Rob back in, stay! Wonderfully positioned by Ben McFarlane. And here he goes. Little two tap brought him down. In quickly as Armstrong. Methy now on the front foot yet again. That's cleverly gone out to Joe Dixon. So he nearly got away from the uh, tackle of his opposite number, Ollie Topping. Methy finding little gaps in the Campbell defence, which they hadn't been doing for quite some time. Brother seems to be Go fine hot. again, judging by that thundering run. Lindsay sells the dummy. Bethany's recycling is very quick. Two release. Stuart Douglas was right the money there. Two. Two brown. Yeah, big turnover for Campbell. By all stay on your feet when you're the first man there. Stay on your feet. What Campbell are doing to him, they're really spreading their defensive line. They're filling the field and trusting that their players are going to make the one-on-one -on -one tackles. We've seen a couple of times whenever Methley have really gone hard to the line and they've, they've managed to get a break the first tackle and make a lot of game line. So if they can just try to continue to attack flat, it's been quite good 
play by Ryan Lindsay. He's really attacking the line at times, taking the ball himself. He's already made one clean break, nearly got away again there. And if the Method League players outside him can just take a little bit of a gamble, he's had his hands free to try and get an off and that potentially what's going to make a big difference in this game. It's a good kick by Campbell's outside half, Tom Crowther. Seems to recover from a, an early bang. Now the get them off there, get them behind the, you. The first half. Let's go! Jake Sonner having a little chat with the assistant on touch surge on the far side. The back for Campbell is the uh, fine athlete, Cameron Hillis, number three, the tight head prop. Okay. That's well taken. Great pass. <laughs> Methley going for the intercept. Didn't quite work out, but that would Tackle been, uh, release! Roll! Anthony in, in big trouble. Was there, was there. Hagen had held that one. Back fight. Bracken has passed it cleverly. Nicely done, Hillis. This could be interesting. Well won by, 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 by Methody. Knocked on, says the referee. And then Campbell have regained possession. And Methody have given away a penalty, so they'll get a chance to get back into Campbell's half. It's all a bit stuck there, isn't it? It is, Jim, and twice Methody. Or sorry, twice Campbell created overlaps and, and first time was great defence by Matthew Booth to come up and shut down the play, he managed to read it, it just looked like they had a bit of an overlap and just the, the raw, the pass couldn't quite get away and then again another overlap and then Methody managed to get up, force a, a, a loose pass and then it was, hey, um, it was Michael Crowthers that managed to get through and put the ball under pressure, unfortunately knocked it on then as Campbell went into the next truck, uh, Methody gave away a penalty, so Campbell creating chances idea. just have to be that again, just the, the key word let's a little go, bit more let's accurate. Go Kick didn't make an awful lot of ground, but Campbell at least are inside the are in first college half. And again, Pardon? Campbell have taken are Finn you, Longstaff in out and put him in the middle of the park. Let's go, let's be set. Nothing happening with only three forwards at the moment. Campbell win it. There goes Longstaff. I haven't seen all that much of him so far. Beautiful pass by McCracken. Robert will be proud of him. That's nicely done. Here comes Joe Hook with a big run. Spiny up and here he is. Wonderful side set by the big fella. But he got it all away. It's pretty close. Surely they must get this over. Solomon's going to go himself. And he's got the crowd. Done and down by Zach Solomon. But without a single shot of the dark. Created by the most extraordinary long-legged scamper by Joe Hopes. Yeah, brilliant try by Campbell and a water break by Joe Hopes. And I'm sure the likes of Brendan Patch in the studio are salivating over the athleticism of a, of a tall second row. Just great play, by awareness, good football, and all set up with a great first, first up carry with Finn Longstaff. Jim. Neil, Neil Duck used to talk about with Nolster and Nick Williams. When he's that big, just get him the ball, get him over the game line. What he did, got over the game line really well, really quickly. Then quick recycle ball. What a, another great ex uh, acceleration by Joe Hopes into the space. Come out, Rex, and then Cam. Uh, Camel didn't panic. Could easily have just sacked on him. Could easily have thrown that pass. Took a hesit Took his sort of second to see what was in front of him and just dived over the line. So brilliant team play by Campbell, coming off a great line-out win and then a good carry in the middle by by Flynn Longstaff. So. Campbell will be pleased with this score just before half time with the elements they needed to get a score and try and get a little bit of a lead and they'll be delighted with that the conversion trusted to Peter Caves who's taken off his his headgear well it has died just a little bit so it's relatively calm out there but nonetheless given the pressure of an Ulster Schools Cup final it's not an easy kick. Caves hit that nicely. What a great kick! Great on that goal. Great just a great kick for him. The confidence is there. And it's a good uh, suggestion for Campbell now to begin. Most likely, if they can just get this kick off, clear their minds, and they'll begin the half time with the lead. That was a good kick away. When you, when you strike the ball, you know by the feel of it and the sound of it, that's going to be good. Yes, yeah, the sound quite often gives away how good the strike is, Jim. That hasn't gone 10 metres. Yeah. Gathered in by Campbell College's tight head drop, Dara Hanlon. You're off your, you're off your feet, White. Johnny McCracken.
clever little dinky kick into a bit of space, but McFarlane has read it wonderfully. Great tackle by Hillis Campbell's loose head prop. Away by Armstrong. Campbell's confidence would have quadrupled after that try. And what they don't want is to allow Methody back into it before. There is both you don't have it. There's you only never 30 have it. seconds of this first half remaining. Lindsay. Not the greatest kick in the world. That was Lorcan Hanrati gets himself into a little bit of trouble. And the captain has got him got them out of trouble. So rock the hands! Go black! They all Campbell through legally. They leave it black! Number 13, black. Matthew Booth did a fair bit of tackling there. Campbell desperate just to hang on to this lead at the interval. Croyd still ooing and eyeing about that wonderful gallop by Big Joe Hopes. Three Not outside. Sure Three outside. For Methody as David Armstrong tries to prove a little bit of ground. <laughs> Maybe there's going to be a change. Uh, a Three chance offside for and high tackle. Three Thirty-five minutes Three according black. to our clock. Offside yeah, and high tackle. Yeah, the referee uh, is explaining that Dara Hanlon just got caught offside and yeah. worryingly for. For Method is a Ben McFarland's down after that last that counter last attack. Play, he's been down, looks like an ankle or a knee, and that'll be a big loss for them if he can't continue. He's getting treatment at the minute, and even just for his kicking game, Jim here down the touchline, um, Method will be missing that, and it'll be left to Ryan Lindsay to try and drive this as deep as he can. But uh, just for them, they hope he's coming back because in the second half, as as Campbell have to try and kick into the wind, I'm sure he'll get plenty of opportunities to counter attack. Well, he's up there, and he looks a little bit ginger. And uh, he's going to take the kick himself, okay, lads. he does, well done to him. Well, as he moved across there, his, uh, his gait became just about limp-free. Top cup score, point score for Method of the season with 35. And he'll get a little bit of treatment at the interval. Yes, a good opportunity now for Method to try and and threw something at Campbell here just before half time, Jim. An opportunity in the line out. They haven't had many chances to attack off their line out, so hopefully they've a, okay, a nice set go. play set up here. They've got a, one of the forwards out in the wide channel, either as a decoy or to clean the rucks. Good line out by Methley, taken in by Harry Palmer. Is there one last throw of the dice? Up very quickly was uh, Cal Florence. No hands. Campbell's inside centre. Finn McAdam, the tight head prop. Stevens goes to ground. And we're going to see a little kick down the turn. Campbell have pinched that one and put in the touch. By Matthew Booth. Oh, what a very entertaining first half we've had. And as you'd expect of the two best sides in the competition, there's not been very much in it. And at half time, there's only three points between them. And it's Methodist College 7 and Campbell College 10. Well, Methody with some silverware already, yeah, but it's evenly poised for this second half. Campbell leading by 10 points to seven. We'll hear more from Budge and Bryn after the game, but now it's time to go back to Ian and Jim. Well, thank you very much indeed. What a second half we are going to be treated to. What a first half it was. Very even indeed. Stuart Douglas just says that he's ready to go. He's asked the Campbell College team, are they ready to receive? And asked Methody to get the second half underway. And Ben McFarlane, who's been outstanding all season. And indeed, in this final, gets away. And Sean Longstaff's little boy, not such a little boy, Flynn Longstaff. Get off your feet, Six boy. feet, five inches, and probably an old money, about 18 stones, gets their way. Good chance for Campbell if they can shift this now. That's nicely done. And here's a fair bit of pace from this man on the, on the far wing for Campbell. Ollie Topping makes a decent bit of ground up that far touch line. I want to start in the second half as the sun comes out. That's a great start by, by Campbell, Jim. They just identified the overlap and they, don't, they aren't afraid to play from the 22. And, and that's what's so good. They, they tried it a couple of times in the first half and just lacked a little bit of accuracy. But it's just that identification and the ambition and the confidence to have a go from their own territory. And, and playing into what, when you look at the okay. touch judges, assistant referees flag, it looks like quite a strong win in the start of the second half. That's easier to pass the ball when you're running into the wind, they say. I think he's lined out first of the second half, taken yeah. in by Patrick Fullerton and Healy. Rule five, Black! Give that. David Armstrong comes in. Assist Johnny release! O'Kane, the assist. Hooker, gets across the 10 metre line. Oh. 
rescue us there. But then the turn offside. Yeah, the extraordinary Joe Hope they put in that wonderful one. As they get themselves offside, referee playing advantage to Campbell. A little sidestep there by Cal Florence. Still playing advantage, Black. Still playing advantage. I don't think any advantage is going to come from this, and he's going to bring them back no for advantage. the penalty. Well, it's a stiffish breeze, so it'll be tough for uh, Crowther to make any worthwhile distance. Yeah, it's just another kick from when they're um, not retreating from the box kick, and it just gives Campbell an opportunity now to try and drive the ball deep. I just say, obviously, okay, into that side. one, there'll be no within opportunity to go for three points. They'll try and all drive side. it White. long, and whether or not then they decide to uh, go for their mall or whether they want to use Flynn Longstaff as a, a threat in midfield again as a carrier now after that first half carry. He can be used I, ideally as a decoy to then try and open up a little bit of space wider. But that is a great kick into the wing by Campbell and giving them a good opportunity now to attack. And he took one straight into the dead ball area in the second half, and he's more than made up for it with that one. And Campbell's try score. That's got to be Steve yeah, Brilliant, Zach football. Solomon desperate to get on with things. Yeah, Methody. Knowing how good the Campbell line that is, they've taken, they've taken a couple of players out, so they're on their strength there. And now Campbell to catch, and then they try to disrupt the drive. Stay. Campbell had caught. That's a great try by Campbell. Built up a fair old head of steam there. Just 10 metres away. Kraken has the ball, he's going to go himself, he might just, you know, he gives. Thanks to Sarah, oh, good time, it's going to be for Campbell. Him off his way, now they're tapping. What a try in the semi-final against Brothers High School, and he's got one here in the final against the Hoders, Methodist College. Yeah, it's a very try for Methodist College. It's just a perfect time to join the back as he breaks up the, the back of the ball. A little bit of a semi-show of the tack, he just managed to hold the defender. Let the lay in the pass, just makes the defender make an option, then as Methody just gets slightly to stone in the offensive line, a great timing off the pass by over top, and he just manages to break the tackle, but a good maul by Campbell. Shift um, from the initial drive, just Stop got the momentum there, going forward, and once you're going forward, Jim, defensively, it's very hard for, for Methody to get off the line with any line, uh, with any pace, and, and just try and stay connected, so Campbell has started the second half perfectly. Just initially from that kickoff, a couple of penalties, they've managed then to get deep into Methody territory, and then very accurate for their from their mall and, and lovely play by the backs and Methody will be disappointed with how this started for them but Campbell obviously delighted. Well it's an old an old saying off repeated that the crucial times are the five minutes before and the five minutes after the interval and Campbell have scored in both of those and this for a ten point lead Peter Caves with the first half penalty and the conversion of Campbell's first try, courtesy of Zach Solomon. Is he going to convert on the top of the try? He struck it nicely. Oh, great kick. Oh, straight between the posts. And the holders, Methodist College, are now finding themselves 10 points adrift. It's Methody 7 and Campbell 17. Yeah, very, very active from Campbell from the start of the second half. Both in tack and then again by that kick as well. That's a great kick by Campbell just to extend the lead out in these conditions. It could make a huge difference in 10 points. Method he really needs to score next. Gathering by Campbell Brilliant. taking right. on. By only McCauley. Thanks, Dave. Solomon. No tackle by Lorcan Hanratty. Method is try scorer. This is Hillis. Tucks no, the ball away, and White. protects it from a would-be Methody disruptor. 13 out! 13. Patrick scoops it back nicely. And that's a teasing hanging kick in this uh, afternoon. One wonderful kick by Campbell. Six very back sure with in front pass. of the kicker. So an offside there. Yeah, I think he's saying he was in front of the kicker, which is very harsh, or very unlucky, sorry, because Oliver McCoy does so well to get up and, and win that ball, showing his athleticism and, and ability and hand eye coordination. So disappointing one it's it's again Jim it's one of those ones we talk about it's, it's probably a needless penalty he's able to see his nine perhaps he wasn't expecting the nine to take that step back before he hits his box kick and it was just slightly in front of him but it was it was a brilliant box kick by Johnny McCracken into that win puts enough distance into it that as it hangs up it just makes his chasers able to get up and compete Methody's fullback Ben McFarland has found a very good touch he's a fairly strong he's breeze behind him but he had to be accurate with that, and Methody will put everybody now into this line-out, I'm pretty sure. 
Unless they maybe take someone out into the middle of the park, which they're not doing. So Johnny O'Kane's got to get this one right. The call has got to be good. Two meters, two. Got two the number back. eight, Michael Crothers, standing at the front of the lineup. So they're up to a little something here. Referee says, no, he's not happy. Lads, you can't be... Gaps haven't been observed, I don't can't think. can't be in motion. Okay, you have to be stationary before the ball's thrown in. All right, pardon? Yeah, yes. Can't be in motion, all right? They were moving before the ball was thrown in. But they get another chance. So back they go, and then they come, and then they stand still. And then Johnny O'Kane will throw. Straight forward to the front. In the front. That was taken down, taken down illegally, not so. No hands, Jack, no hands! And motion. Methody putting on a huge amount of pressure. No way through the middle of the field there. Good defending by Cameron and by the captain Crowther initially. Here come Methody again. A spin forward. Referee is there. Set play on. And that will give the advantage to Methodist College. There's Chris Bradley up the 22. Good tackling by Campbell College. Finn McAdam for Methody. Armstrong again. Lindsay. And Rathi. Good handoff. A second good handoff. And a double. Eventually brought down by Methody. Uh, Campbell's second try score on the topping. Here come Campbell again. Coming across to stop Methody driving forward. This is how Methody scored their try in the first half. Close in, forward drive. Well taken on by McAdam. Armstrong. Lindsay. McFarlane. That's all right. Must be a try for Bradley. End of the call. What a tackle. What a covering tackle that was by, by Campbell College and fullback Lucas Kenny. And he's won them a penalty. And that. Well, it was a try feet. saving tackle. Yeah, you really? That was a huge tackle by feet. Campbell's Lucas Kenny, Jim. For all money, it looked as if Chris Bradley was going to score in the corner. He backed his pace as he went down. That's just so good. He knew to hold on that, that, um, that Bradley couldn't just get up and place over the line. So good, brilliant play Very by Methody to create that opportunity. They've been attacking quite narrow, but then Henrati managed to get the ball, break a few tackles across the far side, and then as they worked their way back, Great handling in the back line, and then by Ben McFarlane to put away Chris Bradley, who just unfortunately couldn't quite finish. But into this win, Methy are still putting Campbell under pressure. If they can just stay patient, stay disciplined, and keep the defensive line, they'll get another opportunity shortly. Well, that's an amazing, an amazing tackle. Absolutely what? textbook what? perfect from a man with a, a very nasty what? hand injury a few weeks ago sustained. Hooker. That's it, that's a rock, no hands! Nothing is called a rock. That's a rock, no hands! Stay ahead most! Methody's still pressing and still going strong. And a roll, and release! Rock, Black Rock release! Looking for a second try. Advantage. Well held up by the Campbell defence, a very resolute Campbell defence. And again, Methody goes short and they go to the ground and again they're held up. And Campbell give away the penalty. Yeah, Matthew put them under huge pressure after the overturned lineup, and they'd be disappointed to not have scored from that initial turnover. They had a huge overlap and just not quite accurate enough. But scrum call. this gives them opportunity now. They're going to go for a scrum. 
wouldn't be surprised to see either coming off the base, they try and go round the back again with Josh Stevens. Oh, Han Hanratty has been a huge influence in this game so far. If they can give it an opportunity for him to try and carry one-on-one -on -one in the midfield, he'll, he'll definitely get your gain line and whether or not they can dress up a little, enough that he gets a soft shoulder and potentially gets another try. So either look for them to, to try and come round open or again the way Campbell are defending, perhaps they'll try and look at Josh Stevens right. down the line like the semi-final. Well, don't be surprised if Michael Bind. Curry picks this one up. Set! Ready, ready, Stevens ready, on, on the open ready, side, inside of in. number eight is Crothers, and it is Crothers, and Crothers picks up, and he goes, and he's held up, and he can't quite stretch, because that would be illegal. So he's managed to set it up nicely. There's going to be a secondary drive on here for Methodist College. Campbell have dug in well, and again, Methodist have back, a, feet, back, a real feet. nibble at that line, and again, for the third time of asking, and this time the try has been scored. Coming from, from behind with Patrick Fulton Healy, just giving him that extra bit of bit of power, Jim, just to, to get over that last sort of few metres. And this is now a big kick coming up for, for Ben McFarlane to try and get Methley back within 10 points. Sorry, back within three points. McFarlane for Methley. Given that, a nice start, and that's a very good kick indeed. And this is turning out to be an exceptional game of Schools Cup rugby. Three now between them, Campbell College 17, Methodist College 14. Yeah, and the strike for Ben McFarlane is exactly what Methodist needed after considering just after half time. Jim. So it's a shoot. We've still got another 20, 20 minutes left in this game, and if, if the, the next 20 minutes matches this first 10 minutes, then we'll be, we'll be in for a treat. Restart by, by Campbell. Taken in by Methodist College. Good tackle there by Alexander Brennan. A wee bit of spring in the Methodist step now. Good driving forward by tight head prop Finn McAdam. Cook very nearly cut. The Methodist Matt. McFarlane perhaps should have given that a little bit earlier. In fact, didn't give it a cut. But here goes Chris Bradley. It's well tidied in by Methody and by Harry Palmer, the try scorer. Johnny O'Kane makes a bit of ground. A little flat pass to Stevens, who's been terrific yet again. Methody have created a little bit of an overlap here. Hanratty is so hard to break. Assist release, 13th! But Cal Forms did just that. It might well have been Matthew Booth. Methody bruising forward. That looked like a high tackle here. Goes O'Kane again. Methody now tails up, McFarlane came thundering in. Well, you knew Methody weren't going to take this line down, and they certainly haven't. And here they go again. And there are a few gaps there if Methody can the explode them. Still thundering forward, Methodist College. O'Kane is in there as well. What a game the hooker has had. Too. Leave it, Black! Back foot, back foot! Callum White, the loose head is in there as well. And that last from Methodist College was spill forward. Campbell will get the chance to clear the lines. Well, what a Four turn! And what seven. a game this has been here. It's been brilliant, Jim. And again, it was really good play by, by David Armstrong, the Methodist scrum half. He was about the box and getting realised that he had six foot, six foot eight. Joe Hopes in front of him would potentially have been charged down. Managed just to make a little bit of a, an offload. And Methody all of a sudden, from thinking they're going to have to clear the line, White broke four. the whole way down the pitch. A couple of multi phases and then just managed to get up to the Campbell try line where unfortunately not gone. But most so impressive yes. medium is we're seeing all these big forwards from both sides. And instead of just picking the nearest guy running into, they're using footwork, they're looking for soft shoulders, they're looking for offloads. And it's that ability just to change direction that's you getting them there, over the game line. And it's just, it's great awareness to that they're not just chucking the ball up the jump line, just running into the guy in front of them. They're actually trying to find space. Right they're, four. they're playing the space with their hand and they're running. Right 
fire scrub. They made a, a couple of uh, a couple of changes. Number number four, Ryan Kidd has, has gone off and boy number 19, Josh McCann has, has come on. Time back on. And there's another one. Back on by White Scrub Blackball. Just stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Uh, here's the mark. Go to the left. Campbell, Campbell has made a change. Luke, Luke Johnson. Fries! Fine! And the Reese Bell and Cameron Faith. They need to be stationary. For, for okay, before we set. Get your position where you can stay up. All right. New hold, all right. Don't go early. Three points between them. And all the pressure now coming from the, from the right. most successful team in the history of the competition. Fine! This Methodist College's 60th Set. final. Ready! 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 Ball the previous ones. Ready! Stay on! Big squeeze by Methodist at the strong. Well away. Ten release! Great head on tackle by Methodist underneath the Campbell first to make life difficult for Campbell. Five steps! Ryder has to clear. As he found his touch, just about and no more, and that's a very good kick under the circumstances and with, and with a strong wind in his face. It is huge, and just see, Jim, just a, as a game and a rugby match in general, not having a left foot option makes it very difficult to exit from this side of the pitch. Campbell had to go into midfield, and that was a hugely long kick for Crother to try and to make touch, which he did very well. But what it means is in this win, Methley just need to stay calm, need to stay patient, and they're going to get more opportunities because it's going to be very difficult for, for Campbell to exit the lines, and hopefully for Methley they can, they can make, get some points off this lineup. Ben Neal is also on for, for Methodist College. Ben! And here they come again, almost proving that on our side to look for any weaknesses, and there's been no weakness on that occasion in the Campbell College defence, and they're very pleased with themselves, and so they should be. Yeah, great turnover by Oliver McCauley, Methley trying to go around the front of the line out, obviously believing there's a bit of a weakness or an opportunity to get some ball carriers into, into space, and just the, the Campbell made a, a great attack on Oliver McCauley straight over to make the turnover and giving uh, Campbell an opportunity to sort of try and uh, release some pressure. Hey, Aussie, yeah. and the skipper, Tom Crowther, makes a decent bit of ground. Took a bit of a bang in the first half, but recovered pretty well. Nineteen and twenty for Campbell, Bell and Faith. Stay, 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 stay! Get back! Joe get back! Out of the air. Yeah, come on, you get it. A good Campbell drive with Solomon in at the back, directing operations. That's what's nice. And McCracken demanding the ball like most scrum halves do. It's has got a clever kick. It's been gathered in by, by McFarlane, who puts it into space. That could go anywhere. It goes into the arms of the Campbell wing, Peter Caves, the goal kicker. <laughs> and right they get the ball. penalty. Well, they've got the wind in their favour, in. Do they go for the post and uh, go to level the scores? There's one or two people now suffering uh, the cramps, which happens at Ravenhill. Yeah, Jim, it's one of those ones I think he's going to end up going to the corner and perhaps a little bit out of his range, especially if he's carrying a little bit of a, of a niggle. I think Methody probably fancied him being able to put Campbell under a load of pressure here that, and we've seen how difficult it is for Campbell to get out of their own 22. Time off! It's just going to be a matter Time of up. patience, a matter of pressure, and then eventually, hopefully for them, the man to go over the line for another try. But it's just very difficult for Campbell to exit. And there's great awareness by by Ben McFarlane there on the counter attack to find a little bit of space. It was good covering initially by Oliver Topping, but just unfortunately for him got isolated and um, the turnover was, was made Time by Ben McFarlane. Time back on, Matthew, another opportunity to attack. Campbell's flanker, Ollie McCauley, has, has recovered. And it's Johnny O'Kane, whose line has been terrific so far for Methodist College, who are 15 or 16, 16 metres from the Campbell line. Good throw, good catch, good drive, good support play. Everything working to Methody's favour at the moment. Campbell don't maybe have enough men in behind the ball carrier. And Methody do, but Campbell have held them up now. That's one There's nine. a chance for a little narrow breakaway, and Methody still going for the line. And advantage Stuart roll. Douglas Get out. is playing advantage to Methody, so they've got a penalty coming. 
and Ratty with a cross field kick. How's that going to work out? McFarlane couldn't quite gather it and will come back for the penalty. Wonderful defensive play there by Campbell College. But Methody knew they had the penalty coming. Yeah, they did, and that's why they, they obviously tried the kick, uh, kick option. And just if they could just have lifted their eyes up just as the mall collapsed and they worked in field, there's a huge overlap down the right hand side where One black. Uh, Chris Bradley, the right winger for, for Methody, could have been walked in untouched. But a great mall by Methody, Jim, just showing how dangerous it has been. And I think no doubt they'll be going to the line out to attempt this again. And if they can just get that forward momentum, they were very unlucky not just to get over the line there. And, and Campbell, obviously, under huge pressure, had to concede the penalty. And I think we'll see that Methody just shouldn't try anything fancy like they did over the far side of the pitch earlier, just getting that mall set up and, and back themselves to get over the line. Most important line of the game, I would suggest. Johnny O'Kane finds his man yet again. Campbell have sacked it, so it's away. gone to ground. The That's the ref who to has to! Pick it up and drive again, so they haven't got any continuity. Well, that's nicely done. Chris Bradley came in off his right no wing, hands, nice. almost unnoticed. But Campbell have shut him down. Here come Methody again. Right underneath the opposition post, and a penalty given away. And Campbell will breathe a huge sigh of relief. With a little scrum half, uh, Johnny McCracken who won that penalty. Yeah, that's a huge turnover. Turnover, sorry for for Campbell. And Methy, look as you yeah, said, Joe, as Chris Bradley hit that strike play off his blind wing, it looked like he was going to make the break. But good, good uh, scramble defence by Campbell. And it's been really impressive. All the defenders that are hitting those low chop tackles that have been brought in the game now. Obviously, you don't want to be giving away any cheap high tackles, and they manage just as you chop. Good successful chop opens up an opportunity for the poach, which Campbell manages to get. To me, Chop was either Lamb or Poe. Wide on the line. A different matter entirely. So Campbell have cleared the line, and because it was a full penalty, they have got the throw into the lineup. But they're still right on their 22, and the wind is, is, is picking up a little bit, and it's blowing into the Campbell faces. There was that cleverly worked move by Methodist College, and some well organised defence by Campbell College on the penalty eventually. That was a good tackle. That was a good tackle by Solomon. Let's go, let's go, Black. Let's go. So again, well, the move is all over the place, but it's well filled in by, by Joe Hopes. Stay, stay, six, Black, wait. First half. Six, no, don't slap, don't slap. Again, McCracken just uh, orchestrating things. Okay, right. Good pop-up pass to Hellas. Immensely strong in the contract, but he's met by another strong man, Michael Crothers. McCracken to kick. Touched! Touched! Well, stayed in field. It's gone into touch. And it, it was, it was touched by player. White. Over there. Come off a yeah. but no, it's come off a Campbell player. Kicked directly Black. into the touch, however. I thought there was a, a contact made, but whoever it's going to be a line out. Yeah, I think the referee said there was a charge down, but then and the assistant referee is saying that that was Peter Kays enough to try and catch it from off his hand, hence why it's it a Jim, we talk about it every year. Boys are starting to go down the front now. The excitement of the day drains and the, the, the pitch running around. It's been, a, it's been a pretty intense game, and with the weather holding up, they've been played at a good tempo. And for this next 12 minutes, it's going to be a very stop start, which will suit Campbell. We see Zach Solomon has been excellent for Time Campbell slowing off. the game down. Right, where he's had to, you, okay. he took an extra minute or so over his line. Out throw, line out. He managed just to slow it down, and that's what Campbell trying to do. Into the wind, break up the play, break up um, Methley's momentum, and it's just Roma, good, uh, awareness get by, the, by the Campbell. Get them behind forward. you. About 17 minutes Don't to go. And three points between them. Campbell 17, 14, Don't and to uh, avenge the pretty heavy defeat of a couple of years ago. This is uh, Campbell's. Third successful final is that Lego Stevens, who's been excellent throughout the campaign for Methodist College. Nicely away. Ten. Good run by Methody up the 22 yet again. Away by Armstrong and Campbell up quickly. Okay, it's okay, it's fine, he's committed. Campbell scrum. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Um, just as the game gets tired, you can see the passes are losing a little bit of their zip. The timing just comes slightly off, and Methody just unfortunate for them. A few passes slowed down just as players were expecting. Caught a little bit behind them, which lost the, the ball carriage momentum. 
Okay, let's Campbell get it. Are we good to go? Or? Competing fiercely at the breakdown, which is making the timing of the forward pods coming around the corner in the back line Time difficult off. as well. In, in training, they'll be expecting that ball to come out a little bit quicker, but just those little bit of impact. And I think it's been Cameron Faith and he's yep. gone off the bench Robert for Campbell. Said, he made that, that turnover under the post. He's been a nuisance there again, nearly getting another turnover. And it's just this little bit of micro time and it's just changed it just offsets the the method of backhand the method of forwards as they're trying to come around the corner off um off david armstrong so method 10 minutes to go don't need to panic but they just need to realize that they're going to get one more good chance time and they have on. to make sure they're accurate and they take it campbell just need to keep doing what they're doing try and work to the touch lines try and even into this wind and turn them as better as a nine instead of boxing if he can get it on the run here from from the scrum if he can go Eight nine right from Flynn Longstaff in the Johnny McCracken and just hit a grubber along the ground. It makes it difficult for Ben McFarland to take a clean catch or take a catch because for them, they, for, for Methody, he's going to be a big you. opportunity here. If right. Campbell try and kick the ball away. The sun is out in the Kings Farm Stadium at Ravenhill Park. Right. Fast, but it is getting bitterly cold. Set. One hour play. Oh. Three points between them. Longstaff. Backwards, backwards. Too much in that. And the cracker did one of you well to get it away. Cry there. You can almost see that he was going to sell that dummy with men outside him. And cracking back in quickly. This is better stuff. Lovely little sweet pass to, to Longstaff. The cracking again. Good Seven release. Campbell's center, Matthew Booth, to set it up. Oh, so I didn't see it up. shaping up to kick down this near touch line. Maybe touch the method of play. Well, gathered in by David Hudson. That's a rough track, no hands. Half. Ben McFarland struggling with a bit of cramp as well. It's a tackle assist trying release. Trying to hold it off the ground. They haven't Back managed to run. do that. Method of one it. Is that typically method of forward drive? Brothers makes a bit of ground. Lindsay. Ratty. No hands, Gets a little bit of help from the fellow centre of the captain, Peter O'Hagan. Good by knee, Methody's replacement, and a penalty. It's a method that's called Here we go. Yeah, I think that was called in by the assistant One referee for offside side. the ruck. Um, the referee's been One very vocal today. Jimmy's been really good to the teams. He, uh, I think credit to him is partly why this game's been so good and he's, he's managed to flow. There's been a few stoppages, but it's he's been so vocal to the players two down over here one over here and talking Time from off. every breakdown and that's really helped the game go well but again we see two or three more guys going down with cramp and what you then three hope for as, a, as an attacking team is you get your dangerous runners attacking against the players who are struggling to him, and that's where the mismatch is going to come so far in this game 61 minutes gone it's been really really solid defenses and it's been tough for both teams to find any gaps but if as the game gets tired you can find your your fresher outside back potentially come up against a tight five four that's where you want a little bit of space and method have had a lot of success going up through the middle around the around the fringes of the rocks and if they can continue just to attack there there's been a few holes for them but Campbell at the minute are looking pretty solid in defense they'll be looking for another nine minutes to go and then hopefully for them they can hold on Methodies uh, tight head has gone off and Harry Pratt will face his head. Chris Massey, number 16, has come on to place to replace uh, Cameron, Cameron Hillis. 16, normally, normally the jersey occupied by the replacement hooker. So decision time now. It's the right side of the field for Methodies uh, kicking full back. Ben McFarland, and it looks Ian, as if he's opted to go for the post. Yeah, Jim, I think I think it's going to be. Um, is it Ryan Lindsay's going to have a, have a crack at this? I think Ben McFarland's down with. Oh, you're right, Trump. it is Ryan Lindsay, I beg your pardon. And perhaps that's to do with the tape and it's around his knee, he's just not used to it, whether that's pull out or whether they're going to try and wait and see if he's capable of kicking it. So. The referee's been very patient here. You just potentially, if he's not involved in play, you might have asked them to go ahead and make the kick. But it's a, it's a huge kick at this stage. And do you know, Jim, today has been very impressive. I think that's five out of five kicks from both teams. They've, they've all been straight down the middle. They've all sounded lovely strikes. It's, it's an impressive display in these conditions and on a pitch that neither neither player would be overly used to. So, Methody will be hoping that McFarlane can get up and, and step up and, and, and slot this over because. 
going into the last five minutes, or last, sorry, last ten minutes, if it can be 17 all, then hopefully okay we can get somebody to come out and, and, and win the game. We're good with scrums. Well, that looks uh, very painful, the method he player who's done, getting some treatment for, for, for cramp. Yeah. The referee may just ask him to carry on and take the kick at goal. Yeah, Up he gets. Ouch. Josh Stevens, I think it is. He's going to have to leave the field. Well, that's very right. really unfortunate. This is the league. Matthew brought on Matteo McGoughan to replace loose head prop Callum White. So replacements coming on thick and fast. And this is a situation, Jim, where we heard about Budge talking pre-game, how the players cope under pressure in a big game. This is a situation where the likes of Ben McFarlane will be delighted to have the opportunity to put a big kick over. These are the kind of, as a goal kicker, these are situations you really want to enjoy. Massive kicks that are hugely important to the outcome of the game. Well, I don't think it matters who take it. And initially it was going to be Ryan Lindsay. But McFarlane has recovered from cramp to put this game on a level basis with uh, less than 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Little chip. <laughs> oh, splendid kick. Splendid kick by Ben McFarland. And Jonathan, what that kick showed you was they had plenty of range as well. So if Matthew can get this kick off, clear their lines, and if they can end up in the pressure. That's just gone the right distance, well taken in by Sis, release, release. Matthew Prop, Matteo McLaughlin. And Campbell have stolen it, but they've given away a penalty yet again. The, right, again these were on the ground. He said tackle release, and unfortunately for Saxon, I think he thought he had the hands in the ball before the referee called it. So it's just going to give Methody this opportunity they've been looking for to drive deep, and now the, the score's all level, they'll be just trying to eke out a penalty. McFarland took a good run up with that one, and he's getting it one mighty thump, and that's an excellent kick. And you can see a spring in the steps of the of the forwards, or those who haven't been affected by Cramp at least. Yeah, hugely, Jim, and I think you can't underestimate the strength of this wind and how big a part that's played. Campbell have really struggled to, to get out of their zone, and Methley have played a very patient, tactically aware game to keep just keep, keep Campbell black. under keep pressure, the knowing that they were going to get their opportunities. Five man line out with the open side flanker acting as a scrum half. And left to have brought it down. It was Josh Stevens who's taken Off your feet, no, you Off your feet, that's a little bit messy there. Campbell might just have stolen that one yet again. There's been some good work in the ground by Campbell. And here they go through Solomon down on their side. Bumble went to touch for a method he throws, so danger not away. And again, another player succumbs to Trump. And this time, I think it's Oliver McCauley, the Campbellian flanker. Yeah, great cover tackle by David Armstrong as the ball was turned over. So you could see Zach Zolman just saw the space from up here. Look, it was a great amount of space down hey, the five meter line, but, but great cover let's attack go. as we'd hope from the first one half, just managing to force yeah. the touch and giving yeah. Anthony another yeah. opportunity now yeah. to get the ball and yeah. potentially try yeah. to yeah. set up a plan yeah. midfield yeah. and then just yeah. open up yeah. the pitch to try to attack. Yeah. At this stage, just patience from Anthony Jim, patience and accuracy and Campbell. Yeah. It's just to be trying to be disciplined, yeah. don't give away yeah. penalty because as we've seen, Ben McFarland has been uh, has been, great, has been perfect in his kicking so far and he'll be fancying his chances to try and get one more shot. Fair enough, fair enough. And these young men are the fittest have probably ever been in their school's rugby careers. So it what is it about this Raven Hill pitch that you. causes them all to have cramps? Um, it's probably a combination of it's a bigger pitch, it's a little bit heavier perhaps, but Jim, we saw them, they were out in the pitch, what, an hour and ten minutes before and They've probably never done that in their lives before in terms of a game, so they'll have burnt off yeah. so much energy. Now, they'll be nervous all week probably, and something they're not used to, a game of this magnitude, and it's just all building up, and every year we talk about it, so it's no nothing new this year. And, it's frustrating, cramps one of the most frustrating injuries that you get because you think you can go and then all of a sudden you can't and once you've got the cramp there's nothing you can do so it's very frustrating for all the players involved and again for Methodist it's a bit frustrating so stop start because they're going to be trying just to get through their phases get into position and, and to try and win the game 
Oh, McCauley seems to have recovered. And it's, uh, Zach Sullivan is down with the uh, with the affliction. I honestly don't Let's know where he is. Time back on. I've, uh, Time back on. The I've done a few. I see many players going down. Anyway. No, the others have had a bit of a rest. It's getting a bit chilly, so let's just get on with it. In the final phase of this game, honours even 17 apiece. Well taken in by hey. Methodist College. Around the narrow side they go, trying to suck in Campbell defenders. Topped up to Assist replacement release. prop McLaughlin. Well away, Lindsay. Hanratty. Gets up the turn away. to quicker ball this time. Leave Nicely it. away by David Armstrong. Armstrong again. Nine away! Another Methody replacement, Harry Trump. As the Christian tight head drop. Into the Campbell 22 yet again. Lindsay, oh, he's almost got away. away. He's made decent grind. They managed to get to him. Little top pass once again to McLaughlin, who's been hugely busy since he's been on. Take it! Take it! Methody trying to dig it out, and Campbell digging in for all the work. It hasn't been a, a drawn game for a long time. In fact, the Methody and Region House threw it away back in the... Uh, White away! White! Back foot. 90s. Back foot. Stay, stay, stay. Inside. That's a very good kick. It's straight into the arms of McFarlane. And he would like to run. He's found a bit of a gap. What a belting tackle that was Go by Cal Florence. Methody have got the penalty, the and it might be, despite the distance, with the wind behind them, it might yeah, just be the worthwhile going for the post. On the ground, yeah, playing definitely, the ball. Jim, I think even if he doesn't get the, the kick, it'll be very difficult for Campbell to clear the lines, and, and that's a very disappointing um, turnover, or sorry, penalty against Campbell, because they did so well. Callum Florence managed to get up and, and make a big physical tackle, and they're just lying on the ground. I think the ball just popped out, and I'm not sure who didn't get it out of the way. So the cry there, I think, the captain. I mean, I thought they, I thought he was he, he was nudged yeah, over, so it was difficult for him to, to get yeah, away. Yeah. But they are going to go for the post, I'm pretty sure. And this could be, well, the winning, or indeed the sharing of the cup for the Methodist College and for their fullback, Ben McFarlane. Yeah, Jimmy shown so far in his, in his three kicks that he, he shouldn't have any issue with the distance, especially with the prevailing wind behind him. All he needs to do is just get it up, the wind's blowing. Pretty much it sort of ends up as a bit of a wind tunnel where it lines up pretty much going straight down the middle of the pitch at times. So if he can just get this right, make the strike as it was, don't try and overhit it, and then he shouldn't have an issue. And these are, as a goal kick, as I said, Jim, these are the moments you dream about. He'll have been at home knowing this game's up, hoping he's going to get an opportunity to either score the winning try or get the winning kick in. And this is certainly an opportunity for that. Well, it's been a terrific comeback <laughs> by... Methodist College, who were 10 ready? points to 7 down at the interval, <laughs> and then 17-7 behind. It's hard pitch. But they come back with tries by Harry Palmer. There's the mark. The penalty by this man, Ben McFarlane, and this to put Methody right back into the lead. It is a long way out, but it's straight in front of the post. The wind is behind them. If it's a straightforward, non-swirling wind, with what three or so minutes to go, this could be very interesting. Allowed to do that again. He may ask for someone to just add a little finger as a placer. And I think his scrum half, David Armstrong, is coming up to offer his his help. But Ben McFarren wants to do it himself. Is the top point scorer for Methodist College in this competition going to win the Ulster Schools Cup for Methodist College? He's got underneath that. Take the kick off well. They've done the first job well, and now it's just a case. Don't try and overplay in this territory. 
get McFarland into position quick as long as he can down this right touch line. It was well out. set up, they better clear it. Stay, stay, two! The skewed a wee bit, it's bounced awkwardly and into touch, and Campbell will get possession. So is there time for Campbell College? By my reckoning, they're under two minutes to go. Yeah, Jim, I think Campbell are going to have to score a try in this win. It's going to be tough to get into position to get a penalty. We're going to hopefully, for them, That's they'll want to the use the first phase to, to get over the game right? line and then try and open up opportunities to spread the spread the, uh, the ball out wide and then just hope that they can get through enough phases that the opportunities open up for a, for a winning try. Johnny McCracken had come over to put his toughness worth in and then he moves back to his position. Solomon taken by Joe Hopes. Good driving by Campbell from the control of Penelope. Balls available, let it come! That was deeper in the Methody territory. Not the greatest of passes, but they're well well taken in by Franz. McCracken inside. Rolling a piece! Campbell throwing everything. Lucas Kenny's come up from fullback. First time we've even seen him take a charge with the ball. Roll! Roll! That's away, White! Right. No penalty! McCracken gets it away. There's the pass, here comes Kenny. Strong runner runs into Go Methody's number 10, Ryan Lindsay. Here come Campbell again, now there's a half a chance here. Ryan, they've got to give it, and they do give it for the way he goes, and he's very quick. Here come Campbell again. They have to score a try. Kenny gets it out by Dear Caves. Back inside from Caves. Here goes Kenny. Good covering tackle by Methody's second row. Howard Palmer with a try score. And that's it. And Howard Palmer has put in the cup winning tackle. Following a cup winning penalty by Fulman Ben McFarland. Jim, what a game we haven't had a Skills Cup in two years, and I think that's one of the best we've done. And we've done, as you said, a number of the last sort of ten years for me. And I think just credit to both sides, and both teams kept trying to play. Neither became negative, neither became too forward, dominated defensive. And it's just some great attacking play and some very high-skilled individuals out there. And hopefully they are enjoying it, and they can look back both winners and losers in the future and enjoy a great day out today. I think the future's quite close to with something the players on display today. Wow, we've missed it in the last two years, but this one was what we were waiting for. It was a little bit of everything. It had good defence, a couple of great tries, some really good line breaks, and then the drama at the end with a huge kick by for Ben McFarlane. And then right at the very end, it looked as if Campbell were going to win it. Oliver Tommy did a great break down the right wing, but what a tackle again by Ben McFarlane. A couple of huge interventions in this game that has proved crucial at the end of the match. Well, the holders have come through. And Methodist College in this, their 65th final, have won the cup for the 37th occasion. It was a cracking game, a cracking game, but in the end, Methody just had that wee bit too much, and they've won this one, the final score. Campbell College, 17, but Methodist College, Belfast, champions again, 20. Well, a final full of excitement, full of entertainment. Boots, Poutney, Bryn Cunningham, what a finish. Fantastic finish, and look, it's great to see them all out there congratulating each other. Um, it was played in a really good spirit. Um, some momentum shifts during that game. You know, Campbell came out to start that second half, and Hagen went to with him, and then Matthew got it back. And I, I just, I just think they should be all very, very proud of themselves. I think they all contributed. Every single one that took that pitch contributed to a fantastic game. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely amazing, especially at the end where. where Campbell had been under the cosh for so long from Methody. Messi had nipped into the lead and then all of a sudden Campbell coming back, almost getting to the line for that final play. So uh, yeah, fantastic game, really enjoyed it. And the poise and the control that Ben McFarland showed to, to knock over that winning kick. Super kick, he's quite far out there. Um, we talked about whether he would have the legs, so he had it comfortably. I mean, he's sitting there behind the 10 metre line. There may be a small breeze behind him, but he's got to connect that really well. And, Budge talked about at the start of the programme, you know, about those big moments and about the pressure moments. And guys like him, who, who I thought had a fantastic game all round, very dangerous as well with ball in hand. But I thought, you know, credit credit to, to both 
guys off the team. I thought their kicking off the, off the team was absolutely exemplary. Yeah, it was, you know, when you look at somebody like Ben McCollin, who not only can he kick off the tee, the pressure moments in that game where he made the, the incisive tackle, where he made an incisive pass, it, it, you know, he, he managed to control his emotions through that game. And to take that final kick you know, in front of this crowd at that age is absolutely fantastic and, and all credit to him. And of course, made a try saving tackle right at the death as well. Yeah, no, I, I, totally. And I thought the defence from both sides was, was outstanding. Um, they really do put their bodies on the line. And there were some good passes in play for, from both sides. And, and they were probably nullified a little bit because we knew with two sides here, we, we said at the top of the programme that it was likely to be a, a tight match and it, it proved to be that. And as I say, they, they can be all very, very proud of, uh, of contributing to something very, very special today. And, and these will be moments that they will cherish for a lifetime. Oh, they will. Uh, and they'll, they'll take every single moment of this match and, and, and it will remain with them forever. And, and I think that's, you know, that's the most important thing that for, for both teams, that, that was, a, you know, it was a fantastic game to watch. They would have enjoyed it massively being involved in it. And to come away with, uh, you know, especially for the Messi boys, to come away with a win like that, uh, they'll never forget it. It was fantastic. I thought it was interesting. Half-time, Methley clearly made a bit of a tactical switch. They realised that just throwing the ball out the back wasn't working. Campbell were well set up defensively for that. And what, after Campbell got that absolutely outstanding start to the second half, then Methley started getting into the straps. He started to hold the ball a little bit tighter, play a bit of field position. You know, and then and then start to strangle Cam a little bit with a with a very strong ball, um, one off runners. And, and you know, some people will say, "Oh, keep moving the ball." But if you're getting those wins all the time, well, that's what's going to win you matches. And, and ultimately, I thought um, I thought they were very very smart in that second half. It takes two teams to make a really good final, of course. And credit to Campbell College today for playing in their part. Yeah, they, they played some great rugby out there uh, today, and actually they, they nullified a lot of what Methody were trying to do in that first half. And, and to a certain extent in the second half, they nullified Methody's driving. And, and it, 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 it kind of had a causal effect. It, it, it forced Methody to think a little bit more outside the box and, and play a different type of rugby. But, you know, they, they, they put in a huge shift today, and, uh, you know, they were unlucky not to have won that game. It's hard to lose a game like that, isn't it? It is, and you know, from from personal experience, it's probably harder whenever you're that age and whenever you're actually a bit older, and maybe even in professional rugby. You know, that is we talked about before. You know, that's the pinnacle of their career so far. Everything is building towards that. Two very, very proud schools with a fantastic rugby history. So the pressure on both sides to come out and win that match is, is ferocious. And as you mentioned earlier, Stephen, they, they want to dine out in this for the next 40 or 50 years. And they'll be disappointed, but they can hold their heads very, very high. I thought it was a tremendous final. Yeah, and let's hope this is the, the pinnacle of their school's career, but the, the start of exciting rugby journeys for many of them. Yeah, let's hope so, Stephen. The, the, the key thing is that we want as many of these lads to continue playing, not only pushing on to, to pro rugby or academy and, and then into pro rugby, but to continue playing for their clubs and, and universities, wherever they go to, and to enjoy that experience. And, and hopefully this will set them up nicely. OK, well, it's time for the moment that all Methody fans will be looking forward to, the presentation of the famous trophy. It's back to Jim. Well, they've been scrapping it out since 1876, and this is the moment that all schoolboy rugby player dreams of. The finalist medals have been given to the gallant boys from Campbell College by Vicky Davis, the chief executive of Danske Bank UK, in conjunction with the president of the Ulster branch, Gary Leslie. And the boys will go up and will get their medals, starting with Patrick Phillips and Healy. Gary Leslie there, a man well known to Ben Cunningham, who was a member of that wonderful Ulster rugby squad that won the European Cup on the 30th of January 1999. And because of COVID, Gary has had no fewer than three seasons as president of Ulster rugby and he's enjoyed every single minute. Maybe he didn't quite get the trips he would have wanted, but he's been here at home for some wonderful moments. And in terms of a schoolboys game, this truly is a wonderful moment for the boys of Methodist College. They were behind, they were trailing by 10 points to 7 at the end of all, then went 17-7 down, but came back with a Harry Palmer try, a conversion by Ben McFarlane, who kicked two late penalties, one in the very last minute, to secure that the cup goes back, as it did three years ago, the last time the competition was played at this level, it was back to number one Malone Road.
A few words by Peter O'Hagan, who's thanking the coaches, thanking the mums and dads, and needless to say, counting all the support that he's got and thanking all his teammates for producing such a wonderful effort and a wonderful game. And the trophy to be handed over by Mrs. Dawn Leslie, the wife of Gary Leslie, who's, who's the president of the Ulster branch of the Irish Rugby Football Union. Well, lots of Methodist college players have lifted this trophy and have uh, shared in this moment down the years. And here is the latest version, 2022. And up for the cup, and it's Methodist College yet again. Their 37th win after 65 finals and the grip on the Ulster Sports Cup is not in any way diminished. Peter O'Hagan cannot believe it. A beatific beam on his face and he turned around and he hoisted to the many former Methody pupils, I still call them collegians, up in the stands. of 2022 Methodist College once again winners of the Ulster Schools Cup wonderful moments great totally and I know we've mentioned a few times we'll treasure those forever you know that's what's so special about this and, and I think Bunch made a good point you know I think what's really important is that these guys they go on and they continue playing rugby in whatever format you know later on in life that they don't um, pass up the opportunity to continue to play local club rugby if, if, if they stay within the province. You know, some of them, a few of the select ones might get through and get an opportunity into, into academy later on and if they do I'm sure they'll grab it with both hands. Yeah, are you hopeful, Budge, that some of the players that we've seen on, on show today will eventually make it through that pathway into the academy and possibly into the Ulster team in the future? Yeah, absolutely. There, there, there's quite a number of them that, that are already in the pathway but you know, we, we, we want as many indigenous Ulster boys to get into the Ulster squad and, and, and create that real depth of, of Ulster players, you know, within the pro squad. And, and that's really important to us, but, you know, it's equally as important that all of those lads out there continue to play their rugby and enjoy it. And, and, and play it for what it is. That's playing with your mates, enjoying the experience. And, you know, this is, this is fantastic for them. They'll, they'll never forget it. OK, well, let's hear from the young man who kicked the winning penalty today. Ben McFarland is with us. Ben McFarland, how long in your life have you dreamed of a moment like that? Ever since first year, we've seen the boys coming through. I remember Tommy Armstrong and Ethan McElroy watching them when we were in third year. We were like, we want to do something like that one day. So it was just good to get the win, good to get it done. What were you thinking when you were standing over that kick to win it at the end? I knew I had the distance. I just made, made sure the wind was with me and made sure my accuracy was fine. And, I've done it long enough, practiced long enough, so I just knew that if I trust my technique, I'll be okay, so. Yeah, and of course, you were 10 points down early in that second half. I mean, what were you thinking at half time as well? You knew you had the win. Yeah, look, we knew we needed to dig in deep to get a performance done. There was a great Campbell side, like, put us really to the test. Made us go right to the wire, so credit to them. How did you turn the momentum your way, though? We just said seven years of hard work. We weren't going to let it slip away like that, so we were going to give everything we had left. So that's what got us over the line in the end. And even after the kick, you had to make a try saving tackle down in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Cramp was kicking in, but we had to give it everything I got. We wasn't going to let it slip. So. Well, congratulations. Thank Enjoy you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, certainly a moment that Ben McFarland will remember forever. Kicking the winning penalty today for Methodist College Belfast as they beat Campbell College Belfast by 20 points to 17. It's been a wonderful afternoon at the Kingspan Stadium. The sun has been shining. Of course, the School's Cup missing from the calendar for a couple of years and it has bounced back in style today.